Do you know how to find the probability of compound events? Let's take a look at how to do this. Two independent events are going to occur. One is going to be the flip of a coin. The second is going to be the roll of a dice. What is the probability of flipping heads on the coin and of rolling a three or a four? That's a great question. Let's use the probability of compound events to figure it out. First, we have to figure out the probability of flipping heads. Well, there's only one possible outcome that's favorable out of the two possible outcomes. There's one chance of getting heads and one chance of getting tails, and there's only heads and tails as a choice, so the probability of flipping heads would be one out of two. Now, the probability of rolling a three or a four is two favorable outcomes, the three or the four, and on a single die there are six possible outcomes, so that would be two out of six. Now, to figure out the probability of the compound event, we're going to put both of these together. We're not going to add them, we are going to multiply them. One half times two sixth. Now, you'll notice right away that we can simplify. One and one. So the probability of this compound event is one out of six. What about if you had a deck of cards? Let's say you have a deck of 52 cards and you want to know what the probability is of choosing a four from that deck, of choosing two cards from the deck, and that both of the cards that you choose will be a four. That's the probability that you want to find out. So let's think about how to do that. First, the, there are four fours in a deck. So there are four, and I'm going to put a comma, and then we'll put four fours in a deck of cards. So the first time you pull a card from the deck, the probability that one of them is a four would be four out of 52, because there's 52 cards in the deck. Now again, when we do the probability of compound events, we're going to multiply. The next chance that there'll be a four will be three, because remember, one of the cards was already taken out, out of 51. Now, before we do this multiplication, let's simplify four fifty-two seconds. We can simplify that by four, and we will get one out of thirteen times three over fifty-one. And when we multiply across, we get three out of six hundred and sixty-three. Now, that's a strange fraction to understand the percentage or to understand the probability of, so let's write it as a percent. If we divide 663 into 3, we will get 0.45%. That's the probability of drawing two fours chosen at random from a deck of cards.